What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today I am once again trying out the world's most beautiful makeup products on my face. The products that I normally feature in these types of videos are ones that have really caught my attention with not only their packaging, but actually the product inside as well. And I've done countless of videos around this kind of topic. So if you guys would like to see a whole playlist of that, I'll link it in the eye and the description. For today's video, every single product that is featured in this video is actually from the website called Yes Style. If you guys aren't familiar with Yes Style, it's basically like an Asian sort of ASOS, I wanna say, because they have fashion, they have homeware, they have makeup, and they stock some of the best like Asian products on the market from Korea, Japan, and also China. And honestly, when I say you guys are gonna die when you see how cute some of this packaging is, I really mean it. Anyways, if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But I guess without further ado, Let's get into the video. All right guys, so first things first the lighting might have changed a little bit just because I had to open the window It is so freaking hot in my studio So I apologize if there's like some noise in the background, maybe some birds singing I know it's not the worst noise to listen to but still there might be like extra noise than usual Anyways to start off the makeup look we're gonna be creating today I'm gonna be trying out this foundation right here from a brand called Catkin I have tried various really awesome and beautiful products from this brand so I I feel like I'm not gonna be disappointed. First of all, look at how awesome the packaging is. It is just so stunning and so beautiful. And that's just the box. Wait until you see what the actual foundation inside looks like. Three, two, one. Ah, it is so so freaking beautiful. I swear I've never seen a foundation bottle this pretty in my life. Like look at this, look at the cap. It is just so beautiful. I have been outside a lot recently. I wear Factor 50 and still somehow I managed to tan. So yeah, I don't know if this is gonna actually be a good match. I guess we'll see. I wonder what kind of coverage this foundation will have. I've recently been really liking a light coverage on the foundation front. And then I kind of just go over any imperfections with a concealer because I'm really not enjoying super thick sort of makeup on my face especially now that it's getting hotter in the UK that's not that bad actually I mean it is a shade lighter or so than my actual skin tone right now but it's blending into my neck pretty well. I'm glad that I went for the shade that was slightly like yellowy because I do have like a yellow undertone to my skin. Ooh, this foundation smells really, really nice. Okay, so, so far I'm pretty impressed with the coverage. It feels quite lightweight on my skin. Okay, now that I've looked in the viewfinder of my camera, it definitely looks like I'm wearing a mask. I guess I've already gotten quite used to my recently tanned skin. We're gonna have to do something about this with a little bit of contour. Okay, so that's the finish of the foundation. It has covered up my imperfections on my cheek pretty well. It's looking all right. It's settled quite nicely on the skin. It's not really like bunching up, so that's a good sign. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of concealer just under my eyes because I've not been sleeping the best lately. I have just been so busy working on their house. I'm sure you guys are going to be asking for an update very soon and I am working on it. It's just that there's been so much going on. So much has changed with the house as well and I'm just trying to like keep up with everything. Matt and I are working really hard on the house so I can't wait to share with you guys everything that's happened. Before I start creasing like hell, I'm going to just set my face with a little bit of Huda Beauty powder. This is the translucent one. It is just so hot right now. I definitely need this otherwise I will be an oily mess. This time around I've not really managed to find any interesting bronzers or contour kind of products so we're gonna be going in with the oldie but goodie. You guys know already. I'm gonna take my usual shade and I'm just going to kind of warm up the face on the circumference just because I feel like this foundation is a tad too light for me. But I have to say I am very impressed with how the base is looking minus the fact that the foundation is a little bit light. It's looking and sitting really well on my skin. Okay so that is the base all nice and finished. It is now time to go in with the blush. I think we're going to be going for slightly more of a bronzed kind of look today. So I'm going to be opting for this blush right here, even though I did actually pick it up in 
two different shades. This is from a brand called Lily by Red and the packaging is really, really pretty, but I'm sure the inside is even better. Here it is. Okay, how cute is that? This is literally reminding me of the Too Faced Sweetheart days. I'm pretty sure they've discontinued that Sweetheart blusher, which I loved so much. So when I found this blusher that was literally like in the same shape, I just had to get it. Here is what it looks like inside. The shade is so pretty. It's like a really nice orangey sort of natural flush of color. This is actually a cream blush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that with my finger onto my cheeks. Oh my goodness, that is such a pretty color. Are you kidding? Okay, you guys, this blush is everything. I feel like I cannot get enough of this color. It's very, very blendable and buildable. Look how natural that looks. I'm gonna apply a little bit of it onto my nose as well. Okay, I am really digging that. That is such a pretty shade. Okay, now moving on to the eyes. We're now gonna be trying out a really exciting eyeshadow palette that I've been wanting to buy for a while now. It is this palette right here, and this is from a really cool collaboration between a brand called Mild Tea, I think that's how you say it, and the artist Renoir, which honestly, I'm obsessed with. I'm pretty sure they also did Vincent Van Gogh and some other artists, but this one really, really captured my attention because I love the colorways of the palette. The actual cover itself is one of Renoir's paintings. It is this painting right here. I'm not even gonna attempt to butcher this word. I know it's a flower, but I have no idea how to pronounce it. The actual cover is such a beautiful painting of Renoir's, and this is what the actual palette looks like. It's exactly the same as the like cover. It then opens up like a literal book, and these are the eyeshadows inside. They are just so stunning. I'm sorry, but can we talk about this shade right here in particular? It is just so beautiful. It literally looks like the painting itself. It also has this tiny little text on the inside of the cover, which I honestly can't even read. It's that small, and also the font is very, very hard to read. But yeah, I think this is such a lovely palette. It's a really simple colorway. It's very neutral, very smoky, and I feel like this palette is just great for traveling. You can chuck it in your bag, and you've literally got all the different shades you would ever need. So starting out, we're gonna go for this neutral shade right here, just to use as a wash all over the lid. It's a really pretty and opaque neutral warm tone shade, which is perfect as like a transition color or a base color. Quality wise, I'm very impressed with how creamy these eyeshadows are already. Moving on to the next shadow, we're now gonna be taking this slightly more red toned kind of shade, and I'm gonna be just packing that into the outer corner like so. I think I'm fancying like a spotlight kind of smoky eye today. Okay, this red tone shade is just a tad bit harder to work with. I think red pigment is always a little bit tricky to nail in an eyeshadow, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just need to work on it for a bit longer than normal. So now that that red toned kind of eyeshadow is down, we're now gonna be going into the darkest shade, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna be focusing that right on the outer corner of the eye, which is basically darkening up that red just in the outer corner, that's all. I'm also gonna take that dark shade and I'm just gonna run that along my lower lash line just to kind of tie the whole look together. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, I just need to dip into this shade with my finger. I cannot wait. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> that is stunning. Oh my gosh, it's like a perfect blend between the gold, the pink, and the purple. That is the perfect grand finale just for the center of my lid as like a little pop of highlight. Oh, that is such a pretty shade. Are you seeing that glistening? I think lastly, I also wanna dip into this shimmery shade right here. It's kind of like the perfect champagne color. And we're just gonna pop that right in the inner corners like so. Oh, that is absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed with this little palette. Uh, hang on, we are not done with the eyeshadow just yet. I actually have another eyeshadow product to test out and this time it's a liquid eyeshadow. First things first, the packaging honestly might be my favorite of this video, like overall. I mean, look at this packaging, you guys. It is from a brand called Cute Rumor 
and this is what it looks like. Every product in this brand's collection is basically really cutesy, really anime based. I am just in love. I actually have the same eyeshadow here in two different shades. So we're gonna open them both and just see which one looks better with this look. So I know that I've been absolutely raving about the packaging, like the exterior, but wait until you see the actual packaging of the product itself. Oh my gosh, this is cuter in person than I thought it would be. Can you guys see this? It's a little white unicorn with like golden highlights. It is just so cute. So from what I can see, this is like a shimmery silver kind of color. Okay, here is a swatch of this one. <gasps> I'm sorry, what? Look how freaking stunning that is. Let's see what the second one is like. I'm hoping this is gonna be slightly different. Oh my goodness, this unicorn is different. Every single product has like a different like cap on it. And this time the unicorn has a blue mane. It is so cute. Okay, so the actual eyeshadow on this one is more of like a white iridescent one. Can you guys see that? It just has like an iridescent kind of sparkle to it, but it's not as opaque as the previous one. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go in with this one. Let's see, I think I'm just gonna have to layer it very strategically over my existing spotlight effect. Ooh, this is pretty, look at that. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. I'm really wondering how this will dry. I've definitely had some bad experiences with eyeshadow products like this before where they kind of like imprint on the top of my lid and they just don't look good. So I'm gonna give it a little minute to dry before I fully look up. Okay, so now moving on to the eyeliner and eyelashes. I now have two products from the same brand and this is a very popular brand in Japan. When I was lucky enough to go to Tokyo a couple of years back, I saw this brand in like every drugstore. They literally love this stuff. And I remember buying like a face mask from it, but I've never tried any of their makeup products before. So I'm really excited. I think this brand is called Kiss Me. So the first product we're gonna be trying out is the brown black eyeliner. The tip of this is really thin. It's supposed to be 0.1 millimeters thin. I'm sorry, but that is gonna be very precise. Size. This is what the packaging looks like. It is so beautiful. I really, really like the eyeliner packaging as well. It looks very precise, actually. Let's do a little swatch. Wow, it is making very thin lines, I must say. I'm just gonna go for a very thin sort of eyeliner, very typical, nothing too crazy. Okay, so that's one eye done. I must say that was very easy to apply. It's a super watery kind of smooth formula and the actual applicator is amazing. It's really precise. I'm now just gonna repeat the same thing to the other eye. Okay, so that's the eyeliner all finished. I have to say I'm very impressed with this pen and it's definitely gonna be sliding into my makeup bag. And now for mascara, we're gonna be going with this one right here and it's from the same brand called Kiss Me. This one is in the shade 01 and it's pretty much just a regular black mascara. This is what it looks like. Apparently it is super waterproof. Just gonna quickly curl my lashes first. Oh, the applicator is really nice and thin. I actually kind of like that. Let's go in for the kill. I am very, very fussy with my mascaras. I normally prefer the ones that kind of give my lashes a lot of volume and almost look a little bit borderline clumpy just because I don't have awfully long lashes. So I definitely need all the help I can get. Okay, this one is definitely more on like the separating and lengthening side, which isn't bad, but it's just normally not what I go for. I mean, it's okay, it's mediocre, it's not my favorite. Okay, so that's the mascara done. I have to say, I'm not the most impressed about this one. It's okay for like the bottom lashes. The top lashes look okay, but they're just not as thick and volumized as I would have preferred them to be. Okay, now moving on to the lips. We actually have a couple of different products to try out for this one. First up, we're gonna be trying out the cutest lip balm I've ever seen. It is from this brand right here and it's literally in the shape of a cat paw. I mean, what more can you ask for? Honestly, I cannot wait to try this. How freaking adorable is that? Look at it up close. It is just so adorable. What is it like inside though? Oh, it's basically just 
just a clear lip balm. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it actually has a cat paw print on the end of the actual lip balm. I'm just gonna go straight in and apply it. Ooh, it feels quite moisturizing actually. My lips are hella dry right now, so I'm definitely gonna be using this more. For the lipstick, I have a couple of different options actually, but for this video, I think I'm gonna try out this one right here from the same brand called Cute Rumor. I just cannot get over how adorable the packaging is. It is just so cute. Whoever like illustrated these designs is a genius. I'm honestly obsessed. So this lipstick is in the shade H04. So let's open it up and see what the color is. I can't even remember what I ordered, but I'm hoping it's gonna look right with this eye look. Oh my God. I'm sorry, but this is just the cutest thing ever. It's a little bunny rabbit that's going snowboarding. Can you even? This is just the cutest thing ever. Why is this my first time finding this makeup brand? Because this is everything. Are you seeing this little figure? It is so cute. Okay, hang on a minute. So this lipstick is actually, I think a lip gloss. Yes, this is a lip gloss. It smells like great. Ooh, that smells really nice. It's kind of got like a purpley sort of sheen to it. Can you guys see that? It's definitely gonna add that sparkle sparkle. So I think I'm gonna use this over the top of a lipstick. Okay, I think I found an actual lipstick to go underneath this lip gloss. And it is again from the same brand, Cute Rumor. The packaging is just everything. This brand delivers and more. Let's see what the packaging of this one will be like. Oh my gosh, this is so cute cute. I feel like these could actually be collectibles. Look how adorable this little bunny rabbit is. It has like this weird ribbon all around it. Seriously, the packaging of these products just do not miss. They're so cute. I literally want every single one of these on my vanity just like stacked up so I can just look at how cute they are. Anyway, the shade of this lipstick is J02 and let's see what kind of color that is. Oh, okay. So it's actually a bullet lipstick and it's kind of like an orangey ready sort of color. I feel like this will actually work well with the eye look. I'm just gonna line my lips with like a brown kind of lip liner first. Okay, so that's my lip liner done. It's now to go in with the lipstick. Look at the end. It's even got like a little paw print on the actual bullet. I'm just gonna go in and dab that over the lip. I don't want it to be like too red. I kind of want it to look more like a very natural kind of color. Oh my gosh, that lipstick is honestly stunning. It works so well with this whole eye look. It's not too red. It's kind of got that like pinky orangey kind of tinge to it So it goes really well with the blush as well I genuinely love the look as it is but I mean I did already say I was gonna use this little fella So let's go in over the top with the little lip gloss. Oh I like the formula of this. That smells so good. It literally smells like grapes. Okay, that lip gloss is honestly everything. I don't normally wear lip glosses over lipstick, but this is really, really it. I mean, look how cute they look together. All my little pets that I have just acquired in this video. They are just pure perfection. I'm so in love with them. And that is the finished look. This is what it's looking like with all the various different beautiful products we tried out in this video. I am so impressed at how this whole look has turned out. Everything has performed so well on my face. I think literally the only product I'm a little bit disappointed by is the mascara, although it doesn't look the worst. It's just not my favorite product. Having tried everything on my face, the products that really stood out to me the most were definitely the lip products first up. I just feel like they are so adorable. They look amazing on my lips. And the packaging gets bonus points, of course, because they are just so freaking cute. I then really enjoyed the eyeliner as well as the actual eyeshadow palette. Both of these products just look amazing. The foundation's okay. I mean, it looks all right on my skin, but I am seeing a little bit of like clumping right around my nostrils. That's normally like the first telltale that a foundation might be a little bit cakey. I don't know. It's kind of like settling in my nostrils just a tad and I'm not really liking it. And lastly, the blusher. I would say the blusher is definitely a big must have. This is just such a gorgeous color. It's sitting really well on my skin and it's actually fairly pigmented for a cream blusher. I feel like normally cream blushes would have just already disappeared off my skin by now, especially because it is hella hot in this room 
room and I am sweating. So with all that being said, let me know which one of these products was your favorite. I will have all the links in the description in case you guys want to purchase any of these items. Let me know what you guys think of this whole look and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then definitely smash that huge thumbs up down below. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video as always and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Thank you.